Okay, this is a Les Paul special, um, and the neck, the headstock snapped off. I don't know if you can see that. I glued it back on, but then what I had to do was remove a piece of wood here, carve it nice and straight because that piece was lost when um, when the headstock broke. Okay, this glue sits fast, so what I'm going to do is just come in over the top, put a little down. I have my piece ready. This sands really well, too. Come in, fill the crack in, let it spill out, and I'm just going to uh, push this piece down into it, like that. Here's the block of mahogany, I don't know if you can see that, that I actually took this piece from. I cut it out here with the table saw, see that little skinny piece right there, then I notched it out this way in here took a small piece out and I just replaced it right here. Now we're going to let that sit. Set up really really nice. <clears throat> the super glue is great. It's not crazy glue, it's different. It's called super glue and it's a different uh, formula but it works great for doing small guitar repairs like this and fixing binding because you can press it down really quick and it sets very very quickly. You have to make sure you really do it fast because once it sets that's the end of it. Okay now I'm going to just come along with a little chisel and very delicately just start to remove some of this wood so I don't force into the guitar. I'm actually slicing it off very very delicately so I don't more. It's a dangerous procedure. Uh, it's delicate and dangerous. I don't want to hit this part of the guitar over here but I don't want to be sanding uh, for a thousand years either with this so I just want to remove some of the uh, the bulk of this wood. It's a very sharp chisel. My dad puts a really great edge Better than me. I still, still don't put the edge on it the way he does it. No matter how many times he shows me. I do a good job, but not quite the way he does it. Now I'm going to sand that. Where it meets right here, I'm going to actually sand. I'm not going to um, try and take that off. Now this mahogany is very, works very, very well. And as you can see, I'm just going to keep working this and slice a lot of this excess away till I'm almost down to the contour of the neck. And that's when uh, I'll begin applying some sanding. Otherwise, it would just be too much sanding right now. And I'll be here all year trying to sand. So if I just take my time with a, with a sharp chisel like this, just take my time, I'll be able to get the contour back. Okay, I'm just coming along just so gently off the top, just removing that piece of wood. Now that's down to the, the bare wood below it. And I think this is about all I'm going to use the chisel for. Now this is up to me to come in here a little bit, start sanding this away, seeing where I'm at on this side too. And it's working out nice. Okay, there's the finished product. You can see that little triangle piece where the seam is. You can see where it's, it, that's more like trying to match the grain up with the grain of the slug that I put in and the grain of the neck is very difficult but um, that's really really close and then I'm just going to start to finish this now but it's sanded all the way down with 320 maybe I'll go even a little bit finer and uh, I'll put the finish back on the guitar okay what I did was I got some brown stain that I got at Stuart McDonald applied it with this brush I diluted it with a little alcohol till it got to be the right shade is the um, is the original brown. It's still a little light. I'm going to come up, uh, give it a few more coats, maybe darken it up just a little bit. Now, there's the neck. Blended in very nicely. End grain's always a little darker, just like it is down here at the heel, because you've got the end grain going in, so the stain absorbs a little bit differently than it does. It's a really good solid joint. There it is. It's not opening up at all. The guitar is... Uh, well, strong, it's in tune, it's been intonated, plays great, really nice guitar actually, and uh, that is, that's, this job is finished. Andy should be really happy with it.